In this video, you'll see how to create composite alarms in Amazon CloudWatch. With this capability, you can combine related alarms into a single high-level signal that triggers only when specified conditions are met, helping to reduce alarm fatigue and improve monitoring efficiency. To begin, let's go to CloudWatch to see our current CloudWatch alarms. We have several metric alarms for an Amazon EC2 instance running in our account. Let's combine the two alarms that track CPU usage metrics into a composite alarm. High CPU utilization may be acceptable for some workloads, but not when all CPU credits are consumed. The composite alarm correlates these metrics. Note that this is a simple example. You can specify as many as 100 child alarms. A composite alarm includes a rule expression that takes into account the alarm states of its child alarms. CloudWatch alarm states can be one of three values, OK, alarm, or insufficient data. Child alarms are joined with the Boolean operators AND, OR, or NOT. You can use a combination of AND and OR operators in the same rule by using brackets to make more powerful rules. Let's change the default OR operator here to AND so that the composite alarm will trigger only when both child alarms are in the alarm state. Next, we'll configure the actions the composite alarm will take when triggered. Let's select an existing Simple Notification Service, or SNS, topic to notify. Now we'll name the composite alarm and create it. Let's skip ahead a couple of hours after we have load tested our EC2 instance with a traffic generator. Our composite alarm has entered an alarm state, as have both the child alarms tracking our instance's CPU metrics. Let's take a closer look at the composite alarm. A timeline shows when the composite alarm went into its alarm state. You can use the timeline to select a past composite alarm state change and review the state of all child alarms at that point helping you to identify what child alarms caused the composite alarm to change state. Here we can see the current state of each child alarm. Because we joined the child alarms using the AND operator, if either one were to return to the OK state, our composite alarm would also return to its OK state. The Details pane shows pertinent information about the composite alarm, including its current state, last change, condition, and metadata. Here we can see the alarm rule we specified, followed by the action we set for whenever the composite alarm reaches the alarm state. The history pane lists all state updates and actions triggered for our composite alarm, with a corresponding timestamp and description. The pane also lists any configuration updates that were made. Composite alarms can be child alarms of other composite alarms. Combining composite alarms enables you to create a hierarchy of alarms with multiple levels. If applicable, any parent alarms of the CloudWatch alarm we are currently viewing would be displayed here. By aggregating multiple alarms into logical groups, you can significantly reduce alarm fatigue and save time getting to the root cause. You've just seen how to create composite alarms in Amazon CloudWatch. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.